Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to my channel. Today guys, I pulled out a lot of my Timu craft items and decorative paper, some washi tape, I pulled out some stamps, and I pulled out the decorative paper, I ripped out some out of the little booklets, and what I'm going to do is create a collage page in a book that I've been hoarding <laughs> for a long time. So I got the book at Goodwill and it's called My Daughter, My Joy. The book was damaged already when I got it. So I had all intentions to use this book and alter the book into um, a different way for art. So I want to um, design a page using these papers from Timu. So I watch Marta a lot and I get a lot of inspiration from her and I love her technique how she changes the pages into something really really beautiful. So that is what I wanted to do today and I had already gessoed out my pages and I had took three or so pages together and glued them just with Elmer's all-purpose glue and then I just sewed it over lightly. I added water to the gesso. I used Deco Art Traditions um, white gesso. And I'm just going to design a page using these papers because they're so beautiful and they are meant to be looked at and not tucked away in the book. So um, I'm going to get started with the next step. So I've already gessoed and it is dry. So, um, I know that uh, when Marta starts, she t does take um, the tape, and I really like the technique of taking um, some masking tape. So, I'm going to try that today, if I can find the end of my tape here, because I don't feel it anywhere. So, let me see where that is, and then we'll just get started. There we go. So, I am just going to take some pieces of this tape, if I can get it to come off right, and lay it down. Just randomly lay it down in spots. There we go. And I'm just going to do this layout. I kind of got an idea in my head what I want to do and I really would like to have this more of Victorian like a princess theme with butterflies and flowers so I thought that would be a good way a useful way to show you know how to do some of these papers up um, and it's it's just nice to just sit down and start to create and have fun so that's what I want to do so but I don't talk in between a lot it's just where I'm kind of thinking um, what I want to do next and um, kind of thinking out my thought process so I got some washi tape here this is from Tamu and I had already um, did a haul on all of these products. So I will link the rest of my Timu uh, hauls down below. And I will also put the affiliate link in there and also the discount code. Because if you're watching this, you can use my discount code for 30% off of new users and you can get a discount so I'm just adding this in random spots because you know a lot of this is going to be covered with some paint I pulled out some Timu paint and some marking um, markers so and then I pulled out this page here of this girl and this is going to be um, my starting point so I am going to take her, this is pretty on both sides, so you have to decide what side you want. 
So I'm just going to take her and I'm going to rip around, just kind of pull and kind of just tear the paper around her like this. And I'm going to save my little bits that I don't use because I can use them later. So I'm just going around and I'm just pinching my paper. So I can get her all out. Okay, so I have her out. Got a little bit more up here I'd like to take off. Okay, and I'm going to save these. I'm going to lay her down a minute because I pulled out another sheet and I've been looking that I want to start with her over in this corner, but I wanted her to have a background behind her. So I'm just going to rip this paper straight into. So I'm going to the right side of the page. And I'm going to push this over so you can see. Make sure you can see it all. Okay. So I'm just taking my glue. I'm just going to add the glue to the back of this paper. Okay. And then I'm going to put the paper right down over top of this part of this page. I'm going to cover this part. It's okay if I don't cover it all. You know, when you make art, you're making art from your heart. And there's no wrong way to do art. You are the artist and you decide where and what, when and how. Okay, so I'm going to place her in the side of here. So I'm going to just be adding her. To put her right here inside. All right. Okay. So now with the little extra pieces, I go back and I look and see what I could use in the next little segment. So let's take some more, and I'm going to rip this again into two. I believe I want to bring it here so it looks like she's not at least not floating in the air so this will kind of ground it out and by the way these papers really rip really nice they got some um, nice weight to them but taking them and making them down, you know, ripping these, they're they're really going quite nicely. Okay, so I'm going to take some more of this other paper, and I'm going to just randomly rip. This is the background. Just make some different background pieces. Okay. So let's take this and I'm going to add it here towards the bottom. Just like adding it in there. Okay, so I grabbed some more of my other papers because, my goodness, I bought so much and got so much. And I want to use some of these florals that are in here. And I really like this yellow one. Okay. So, these are really, really pretty. So let me take that and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pinch along the paper and then I'm going to get the this big, pretty yellow one. 
claw all the way down. Okay, and then I want to, I want to take this edge off. I want it to be more organic and not such a hard edge. So if I have hard edge edges, I'm going to try to cover those up with more of a softer look. Okay, so and even up here, I like to take this and make it the same edge. So now I'm going to find a spot for this. And I, am, I just kind of place it in different areas where I think it's going to go quite nicely. So I think I like it here. I could take it up here. I could put it here. Okay, I think I want to take it to the... I really don't really want to cover her up so much. And that's kind of covering her up. So I think I'm going to put it right there. Right. I love the fairy tale look. My favorite fairy tale growing up was, of course, Cinderella. I loved it. And there was a show. On, it was on a Saturday afternoon. It was Snow White and Rose Red. If you guys remember any of that, let me know. And it was a it was a real life um, Snow White and Rose Red um, movie, and I loved it. It was it was like a combining of the two, and you know I, I it's hard I don't even know if you can even find it today on any of the streaming devices. But okay, so here's a butterfly that I'm just going to take, and I'm doing the same with it. Pinching it along, trying to get those hard edges off. And I really like to put that over here. And of course, you can take your scissors if you want. And let me grab a pair. And if you just wanted to cut out the butterfly a little bit better, I think I am going to do that. I'm just going to cut along the edges. And just cut the butterfly out a little bit smoother. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, whoops, I think I glued him. There we go. So let me add the butterfly. Okay, now I'm going to make sure you guys are still in frame that you can see. Alright, so I'm going to continue on with this other area. And I'm just look, going through my papers to see what else we have. Because, oh my gosh, they have so many papers, don't they? Timu has so many wonderful papers. And I have a hard time choosing, oh my goodness, the horse oh my gosh we gotta use this horse there's a the unicorn all right so let me do the same with this guy I mean this is one-sided that makes it easier if it's just one side you don't have to decide which side you want to use all right so let me just take this I want to make it a little bit smaller because so I want to kind of put him down in here. Remember to keep those extra little papers that you take off because you want to save those. You can always use them for something else. Now, let me see. Let me put him right there. And then I love doing collage. It's fun, it's quick. I love painting, but I also love collaging. 
All right, so there's that. Okay, now I'm just going to go back. Let me move some things around here. I have I have a lot of these stamps that I've gotten. And I'm just looking through like I could put some greenery on here. Uh, let me see what else. I don't have too many stamps from there. Okay, let's see here. Um, if I can just find my little... I bring everything to my desk and it kind of like... It just gets camo. <laughs> I'm just looking for my stamp. My my block actually so I found these and these came from Tinu so I want to add some of these little floral accents and then get my just going to pat on some ink So I'm pressing in. So I hope this will give you guys some inspiration to do your own little layout of the collage papers. Um, my goodness, there uh, there's so many I see on there every day that I want to get. It's like, oh my gosh, I have to restrain myself. I haven't put an order in for a while yet, you know. But I'm getting ready to put another one in. So, okay, let's maybe do one down here. Push on it. Okay. So I'm really liking how this is looking. So I had to use the archival ink. I haven't bought any ink yet from there um, to try it out. So maybe I could do that this next time to see. Alright, so let's go back and add some more. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more floral. So I need something up in here. I'm going to grab my book, go through the book and see if there's anything in this book. This is more um, like not quite the color scheme. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Let me pull that out. And they, they do come out of there rather easy. Okay. I like the roses. Okay, let's see. Let me see, see, see. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and do the same with it. So let's just get pinching away here. So let me know, know down below if you like this video, guys. If you'd like um, me to do more using the Timu products so you guys can see um, how they are and if you enjoyed this video I'm going to do this one page and hopefully this video is it going to be too long I'm really now at 19 minutes so I'm, I'm just going to do the one page and because I don't want this video to be extremely long all right well let me see here So, I don't know if that's too much. Let me 
me just take the rose. I can always use these other pieces somewhere else. And I can't stress that enough to save your paper. All right. Okay, so now I got it that way. Okay, let's do that. And at this point, I'm not even sure if I'm liking this. So, you know, it's it's just um, playing around with your products. And it's more to me about the, the process and just sitting and creating and not worrying so much about the result. Um, because sometimes we just need that, that time to create you know, and then we learn by doing. Okay. Right, I'm going to see here this. No. All right. I want to do something in here. And I got my paints out. If I can find them now because they got buried. Here they are. And I pulled out this little set of the 24. It's the ocean colors, but there is some blues in here that I'm going to use because I just wanted to use um, some of the paints with blues and purples. So let me turn this the other way because this card is backwards. So let's go in with some of this purple. Okay, and and I'm just adding some color against that white page. doing is just dabbing up and lifting some of that color off. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the blue. Since we have that kind of blue kind of going along. through the purple. And I even take some and put it on the paper. All right. So I have a few of these papers left. see what we have left in our little scraps that we have. If we can use any of these before I would take any more papers and rip them. Um, there is like a trellis here and a birdhouse. Let's see if we can incorporate this anywhere in our little collage here.
and it may not go anywhere really I kind of like it there I was just added over there block. Maybe it's too big. Let me see. Let me try my other one. It may just work. Yeah. So I had the word inspire and I'm going to add it to my page because I want to inspire you all to do a page also. So let me get it the right way. So I'm going to put it right there. And we're just going to press down. I'm going to get that word in there. Well, I didn't do too well. But that's okay. You know why? Because I'm not worried about it. And I can always cover it up. So let's just do this. I can take that piece of floral, cover that word up, and we'll just try it again. I think I need to put something behind my book. So let me get it up. Put the floral over top. And we'll try again. Okay, so let me try the stamp again. I'm just getting it back on the thing. All right, so I'm going to ink it up. to put this behind it. I just used my uh, piece of rubber from my glue gun. <laughs> All right, so let me just find a new place. Let's just do it right there. And let's see how this looks this time. And I think we're going to call this page done because this is it's already 28 minutes. Okay. Well, my P and my R, but I can take a marker and fix that. I did want to use one more thing before I go, and I can find them. I laid them here. Okay, so I have these little um, graphite sticks that came from Timu, and I want to outline. And these are water soluble. I believe I water soluble. I'm hoping they are because I took them out of the package. Okay. We'll find out because I'm going to add some water here when I'm done. 
Okay, so let's just blend a little bit of this in. My phone, or not my phone, my camera shut off on me a while ago, so I had to, right in the middle of me talking, so I had to add this piece to the back. So, yes, they are water soluble and they're doing lovely. Okay, guys, so there we go. So, let me know if you like this video and let me know if you would like to see some more of this kind of content. And because I like to mix things up, I like to have um, different content and different artworks going. So,. Let me take my paper again. But until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. You have a happy, happy week. I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. God bless.